It's 2022 and the world is under tight competition a competition between countries and their insanely big projects America is in the limelight with its upcoming mega projects. Welcome back to Top Mega Projects. In today's video we'll look at America's biggest upcoming mega projects by 2030. Before we proceed make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for regular updates. Las Vegas MSG Sphere The MSG Sphere at the Venetian the world's first spherical concert venue will host the top action music from around the world. It will feature an acoustically advanced 360-degree sound system and a glass wall built into its massive exterior walls complete with a view of the strip. The lattice sphere also has a massive viewing area on top that rotates to keep guests comfortable while they're enjoying their show with space for 17,500 people. The MSG Sphere will be a mammoth venue with state-of-the-art technology and scenic views of New York City. It will be used for both sports and entertainment events as well the MSG Sphere will be equipped with 19 0 by 13 500 resolution LED screen, which will be spread across the interior of the venue. The wraparound screen will measure 160 0 square feet. It'll be the largest and highest resolution LED screen in the world. The exterior of the venue will feature 54 0 square meters of programmable lighting. Groundbreaking is set to begin in 2020, and construction will be completed by 2022. The Gordie Howe International Bridge, a project that has been in the works for over a decade, Texas Connect Project Connect is a transit expansion program by the Capital Metropolitan Transportation Authority in Austin, Texas. The program was approved by voters on November 3, 2020 in a local election. Concurrent with the 2020 presidential election it will expand urban rail transit throughout Austin and build new infrastructure for Central and East Austin, which includes a bond referendum to pay for the transportation projects and will provide funding for other cities around the country. The project is currently in the planning stage and is being funded by public funds both federally and locally through a property tax increase although this is a smaller scale version of the proposal originally estimated at about $10 billion. It has been downsized to $7.1 billion due to cost concerns amidst the COVID-19 pandemic capital metro's ride for the future plan released in December highlights several major improvements for metro areas around central Texas. The proposal calls for four light rail lines and a commuter rail line in Austin alone by 2030. The three other lines which would also stretch across a broader service area would be completed by 2040. The plan would also expand the already existing red line with major improvements that include track upgrades new station and the infrastructure needed to travel at higher speeds along most of its route. California High Speed Rail the California High Speed Rail is a major multi-billion dollar infrastructure project to create the first high-speed inner-city rail system in the United States. The plant system will begin with a link between Los Angeles and San Francisco, but future extensions are planned to include San Diego County via the Inland Empire and Northern California to Sacramento. The California High Speed Rail project also marks a significant shift for California's inner city rail system which is traditionally dependent on existing freight and commuter rail lines for service even though it's been in development for some time many aspects of the project remain uncertain. As work continues in other components of the design and planning process California's bullet train was expected to cost $113 billion when the huge project was finished in the 2020 seconds, which is a shocking 50% more than initial projections voters overwhelmingly favor. The project's continuation 56 to 35 percent. The development of this massive project also encountered certain engineering challenges. A new international bridge between Detroit and Canada across the Detroit River would be the fourth span to connect Windsor, Ontario to Detroit. The bridge will replace the Ambassador Bridge which was completed in 1929 and is privately owned and operated by Manuel Marone in April 2013. The United States government approved the construction of the new international trade crossing an ITC sending it forward after nearly a decade of discussion and debate. The crossing will connect Interstate 75, 94 and 96 in Michigan with Highway 401 in Ontario. Construction began in 2014 and is scheduled to be completed by fall 2024. It's named after Canadian ice hockey player Gordie Howe, whose celebrated career included 25 years with the Detroit Red Wings. The 30-meter telescope the 30-meter telescope TMT will be one of the largest optical telescopes in the world. When completed in 2024, the telescope's primary mirror made up of 492 segments will measure 30 meters 98 feet in diameter roughly. The size of a football field the images collected by this huge telescope 
will reveal phenomena that are too small and too distant for today's most powerful telescopes. The TMT with its diameter of 30 meters makes it the largest aperture optical telescope currently under construction. It's been designed to provide images of the universe that are more than six times sharper than those produced by the Hubble Space Telescope. It will be the most powerful and advanced telescope on the planet pioneering new capabilities for ground-based astronomy and advancing understanding of our own solar system and planets beyond. It which among the five do you think is the most innovative mega project? Let us know in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.